guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Senryo Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. The freaking computer, like, paused the video at the same time when I was playing it. Angie? <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Her dad, as I say always, is so fucking extra. But I, I love him. He's, he's a very funny, interesting character. I, I mean, I've never met typical dads who will act that extra. Typically, it is the mothers, especially if it's like, if it's the daughter. If it's the daughter, if it's a son, they're like, oh, okay, you know, good on you. The dad's the one that's like, all right, let me tell you everything about this, the son, the third, but the girl, and such. And then when it's a daughter, it's usually the mom, but then the dad comes in for certain things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be so awkward. <laughs> and it's also weird to be watching this first, even though Fruits Basket is delayed for at least nine hours. So nobody knows when the freaking Fruit Basket episode is coming out. And I'm like, I, I need it now because my baby... It's my baby's episode, damn it. Ugh. AJ, really? If you go get some rice, it should be okay. <laughs> Gotta be talking about masturbation. <laughs> Masturbating. Yeah, just say you dropped it in the ramen on accident. Mm-hmm. One time. You know, for when you... Damn, everybody's out today. No, 
that's fine because some people like to go eat out by themselves. There's no problem with that. Okay, you know that was special. Girl, like, hold up. You see how long that lead is? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's fine. Well, that was because you accidentally dropped her phone. She would understand. I, I think that's Monica's hat. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are your intentions with my daughter? Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> you should have just said we're in class C. But they have crushes on each other. No. Yeah, that's fine. He just an extra.
Oh my god, so you That was fucking cute. Like, I mean, finally, she's, no, he's technically met the family. I feel like I gotta sneeze. If I sneeze, just come out. Come out. Let it go. Um, but actually, just seeing everybody else doing what they're normally gonna do, like, on summer vacation and stuff, that's really nice. I mean, Amane with <laughs> raising her hand to get the waiter stretching, drinking coffee, and then dropping the coffee. And Tao eating some ramen, or I think that was a beef bowl. Um, Kino drawing, Koto handing out tissues, and then, you know, Nanako. Best girl Nanako just walking around. And then having her father be like, honey, wait, you're in a steroid? <laughs> I did not know that she was sexual relationship. There's A, B, C, and D. What the fuck does that mean? I'm literally gonna have to look that up now because I got some questions about that. Um. Oh, nice! Yay, Tessa Curry stuff. So that means we're gonna have like another beach episode, or not even a beach episode, another like fan servicey pool episode where they're gonna be fine seeing each other in their bathing suits and they're just gonna walk together in the night. Of course, she's gonna get scared and he's gonna comfort her and it's gonna be so freaking cute and I'm gonna cry and die and stuff. But like, I mean, Nanako's dad is very protective of her. Since we now learn the backstory about why she writes in, um, in Senjo, Senryo, it's really nice because that was like the biggest question I kept wondering. I was like, with episode one, I kept thinking, okay, maybe she just can't speak. She lost her voice. Something must have happened to the point where she just can't speak anymore. And so she just communicates everything through this. And that's okay. That's just different. I mean, when you, um, I'm trying to think, uh, you sometimes have to, there's other ways to communicate. You have to use sign language for some people because some people can't talk and communicate in a certain way. So they, because they're deaf. So, sign language is another thing. I mean, they could have, like, I would love to see an anime possibly do sign language if they could. No, uh-uh, hold on. A silent voice did that, so technically, there you go. I just have to rewatch that film, because it's been a lot of fucking time since I've watched it. Um, but, yeah, it was a good episode. But continuing on Nanako's dad, he is very, very protective of his daughter. I mean, typically, fathers are very protective of their daughters, but they also are protective of their sons. But the mothers are really more protective of the sons and then the daughters are the fathers. Because once that girl gets a certain age and she starts having a crush on someone, heck, I had crushes on guys like fourth grade. And let's just say my experience with my dad and telling my father about my crushes, it wasn't like a typical father-daughter conversation. Mine was more against it rather than being, oh, okay, um, that's nice. Did you tell him? So my mother was always the one who I always told everything to while my father and I, even till today, have a um, sort of like distant relationship because of certain reasons that like, in a way, I don't really feel like talking about, but it's due to other things. It's not really that, but it's some other shit. Um, but, like, I can I can understand why Nanako's dad is so protective of her. Because, like I said, parents, you know, especially their fathers with the daughters, are very protective. And especially, you know, when it's the boyfriend, a brand new one, especially if it's their first one, you know, they always use that death threat. My mom kind of just was my boyfriend. Um, you know, it's like, oh, if you hurt her, you know, I'm going to find you. And it's going to be a not-so-happy day. Because my boyfriend's in the freaking military, you know. Mm, mm. And my mom knows people because we used to be former military people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 But, I, like, I, I do feel bad for AG. But I like the fact that, you know, we finally got to just... Nanako's mom was just explaining everything. We didn't have to have Nanako's dad say some ish, even though he did. <laughs> but Nanako's mom was the one who eventually... To save the day and you know 
talked about the fact that you know, that from the beginning, ever since middle school, Nanako has been in love with AG, and they're just slowly but surely just trying. They just need that push to just be like, hey, I like you. I mean, but like, it, it depends because with someone you like, some girls and guys can immediately, like myself, I can go ahead and say to someone, I have a crush on you. But then sometimes I'm a little skeptical. And that's what these two are right now. They're a little step back towards each other. They're like, when can I, when is the right moment to possibly tell someone I have feelings for you? Because you don't want to ruin that friendship, that bond that you have between each other. And especially if you do go into a relationship with each other, that next level, one wrong move and then you're not friends anymore. And you can't go back to the way that you were. And then you're just sitting here regretting everything like what did I do this what did I, do? I shouldn't have done this da, 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 da. things like that but like we're getting closer and closer to the end of the series and I feel like possibly between 10 11 12 I think it's like 12 or 13 episodes I don't really remember between these last few episodes we're going to see at least maybe one of them or possibly both of them confessing to each other and that's when they'll take that next step because I really want these two to just like start dating they look good they got that height thing and you know when that when anime characters and even tv shows have that height thing going on where one's tall and the other one's kind of short it's cute and especially when they're like the same height it's even cuter so come on damn it it can work other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode nine of send me a girl if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 10. Bye, guys.